Honda pulled the wraps off the Civic Si. Now it's only concept in name because it will arrive next May and when it does so it will arrive with a 1.5 litre turbocharged 4 that's had the wick turned up so it will produce around 220 horsepower. It also gets a limited slip diff, bigger brakes, better rubber. In the end the Si that arrives next May will bridge the gap between the pedestrian base model and the outrageous Type R. Mercedes-Benz showed the brand new AMG E63. Now this thing is the most powerful E-Class ever produced. In base form, well it only gets 571 horsepower. However, if you kick it up to the S model, a thundering 612 horsepower and it also gets all of the accoutrement needed to get the power to the road without frying the tires. Now fear not, there is a drift mode so you can still get the tail of wagon. Now Alfa Romeo revealed the all new Stelvio. It's named after a famous pass in Europe and like most passes if you're going to traverse it in style you've got to have agility and power. Well this thing sure does. It shares its platform with the Julia and it gets the same 2.9 litre turbocharged V6 that pushes 505 horsepower. Now that'll get you to 100k in 4.4 seconds. Furthering its cause, well the fact it's drop dead gorgeous is going to make it very popular. At the affordable end was the Nissan Sentra Nismo. Now at first blush that car really doesn't look like the sort of thing you give the full Nismo treatment but when you scratch a little deeper it actually works very well. Stiffened body, it's got much better suspension, better steering and better rubber. It also has the handling required of something that's interesting to drive. The Sentra Nismo is going to be a popular vehicle especially if it follows in the lowly Micra's footsteps which built its fan base around a grassroots racing series. I think Nissan's got a success on its hands. I'm Graham Fletcher from the LA Auto Show for Driving.ca.